Voice of the customer. Once you have identified what type of customer you have, you need to listen to the voice of the customer. And there are many ways to do this, by interviewing them, by analyzing feedback and complaint forms, and my favorite, to observe the product or service in use. One of the key skills, therefore, is to put yourself in the shoes of your customer. How does it feel to be the recipient of your product or service? How do they use it? What are their frustrations? What are the problems and challenges? And of course, what makes them happy? A key tool we can use in this case is called the Kano model. The Kano model, named after its creator, Professor Noriaki Kano, emeritus professor from Tokyo University, uh, came up with a way of plotting three types of relationships between order fulfillment and cusp satisfaction. The first category are called the expected. These are implicit and assumed. The second are called the wanted. These are explicit. The wanted are those things which a customer values and are prepared to pay for. The third category are the delighted. These are those things which a customer didn't realize they could get as part of the product or service, but they do create delight. As an example of these three relationships, I will use uh, the following. I'm ordering a hotel room. I want an ensuite with a bath. It's a double room for single occupancy and I want a nice view. The hotel will state their availability and charge me a price, which I am prepared to pay. This is called the wanted. And if they deliver everything that I explicitly stated, I'm happy. If they don't, I'm less happy or even very unhappy. Now let's imagine that I go into my room, there's a double bed, everything is fantastic, but there's no toilet paper in my bathroom. I'm immediately dissatisfied and call house speak keeping. They tell me I didn't specify I needed toilet paper when I ordered the room. I reply I expected there to be toilet paper in my bathroom. Therefore this is called an expected. We sort out a minor issue with the, with the toilet paper free of charge and the next morning there's a box of chocolates on my bed, some flowers and a letter of apology from the hotel. It says sorry for the inconvenience this is our mistake. Please accept these gifts and have a complimentary meal in the restaurant. I didn't expect this and therefore I am delighted. Now the funny thing about delighters are that they often are a low cost to the supplier, in this case a hotel, yet give me a sense of customer delight. So when you look for what to focus on when you improve your process, my recommendation is to always start with the expected, the implicit, the assumed. The majority of complaints will be made around those aspects of your product or service delivery which the person did not expect. They assumed it there to be as part of the natural value that they wanted and are prepared to pay for. Once you fix the expected, you focus on the wanted and finally on the delighters. For example, don't give me a free meal instead of toilet paper in my bathroom.